Definitely a time, no question about. Steve Pierce is here now yeah. to uh, let us know that we're probably going to be needing some of those supplies perhaps in the coming days. Yeah, boy, we've got a lot of rain on the way, Lisa. Between effectively tomorrow afternoon through Wednesday, temperatures are going to be very warm. And that atmospheric river that we've been talking about is going to be aimed right at the Pacific Northwest. And boy, we are going to really run up those rainfall numbers. You know, we've been talking about this the last few days. And the models are coming into better consensus this evening as to exactly how it's going to play out. I'll show you that here in just a second. 51 degrees now in downtown Portland. Light rain this evening. So far, not a, a whole lot of rain across the metro area this evening. But we have added a little bit to the rainfall gauge. Here's radar. You see things starting to quiet down now. Just some lingering clouds, fog, and some light rain in the metro area. But as we go south down the valley, that's where most of the activity has been focused at today. Uh, some rainfall amounts, I'll show you here in a second, that we're up uh, almost near two inches down near Eugene. So quite a bit of rainfall there. Okay, now up to eight tenths of an inch. We added about another two tenths of an inch between dinner time and tonight right now. Uh, Vancouver about three quarters of an inch. Lighter amounts on the west side of the metro area. But notice Salem there, 1.07 inches, 1.17 inches at Troutdale. So south and east sides of the metro area picking up on quite a bit of rain uh, today since midnight. Look at these numbers since midnight as well. Boy, the area down there in Lane and Lynn County near Eugene, uh, 1.65 inches today so far at Eugene. Uh, let's see, Florence at 2.21, but some locations south of Florence, I noticed, were up above three inches. That's a sign of things that are yet to come coming up. Now, we had a high of 61. Boy, that southerly wind kicked up this morning. You might have felt it about 9 and 10 a.m., Average is just 49, so well above average. 50s along the coast and a lot of 50s over there in central and eastern Oregon. Baker City was a cool spot at 38. Current temperatures right now all in the lower 50s. Fairly uniform across the metro area as we have the cloudy skies and rainy conditions around. Okay, weather headlines. This is the main part here. Flood watch in effect from the National Weather Service through Wednesday from the coast through the valley and up into the Cascades. Heaviest rainfall begins tomorrow evening and lasts all the way until Wednesday morning. Tuesday is really going to be a soaker. Rain in the Cascades, but snow does return once we get to Wednesday night. Okay, day planner for your Monday. Lots of rain out there in the morning. Changes to showers in the afternoon, but notice those temperatures up around 60 degrees, so it's going to be a warm rain. Okay, future cast will roll this through overnight. Here's 6.30 in the morning. A lot of rain across the metro area from the Cascades, the valley, out along the coast. As we move into the afternoon hours and then into the evening, that's when the main event starts. Here's 9 o'clock on Monday evening. That's the beginning of that atmospheric river, and it sits right over northwest Oregon. Here's 12 hours later at 1030 on Tuesday morning. We'll move it ahead to 730 on Tuesday evening. Keep going all the way into Wednesday at 8 a.m., still right over the northwest part of the state. That's really going to run up those rainfall numbers. It finally pushes to the south. We get some cooler air in behind it. By the time we get to Tuesday, snow back up there in the mountains. Okay, let's roll this forward. This is our rainfall forecast. I'm going to let this run all the way through Wednesday, putting out some impressive numbers, close to three, maybe three and a half inches in the valley, four, maybe even five inches along the coast, and also in the coast range, some locations up there, like Lee's Camp and uh, Highway 6 and Highway 8 could be closer to uh, 6 to 7 inches. All because of this atmospheric river that has a tap all the way back to the Hawaiian Islands. Tuesday is still here, pointed right at northwest Oregon. Then it weakens and moves off to the uh, south and east once we get to Wednesday. Okay, seven-day forecast, so we'll call it weather alert day tomorrow, Tuesday and Wednesday with that flood watch in effect. Rainy and warm, 60 for a high. A soaker, heavy rain on Tuesday, 60. And then Wednesday, more rain, but a little cooler. We transition to snow in the mountains on Wednesday night into Thursday. And then showers continue, Lisa, into next weekend. And we start to cool things down by next Saturday. All right, but at least it's warm and wet. Yep. <laughs> Coming up next.